fundamentally the right to vote isn't something for Donald Trump to give or to take away. This is our American inheritance. And it has been bequeathed to us through the blood and sacrifice of American martyrs and heroes. We are in a pandemic that will kill more Americans than the Japanese, Germans, and Italians during the Second World War were able to do before it's over. We're going to see a mortgage and eviction crisis in this country that will be three times what it was at the height of the Great Recession. We have dark and troubled days ahead and we see an illiberal president testing the boundaries of American democracy, which he's done for three and a half years. And what I'll say today, lastly, is what I said four years ago, is fascism didn't grow and thrive in the 1930s because it was strong. It grew and thrived because democracy was weak. And we have a sick and ailing democracy in this country. Can it come down to this? We have a moral man, Joe Biden, versus an immoral and amoral man, Donald Trump. We have an honest man, Joe Biden, versus a deeply corrupt man, Donald Trump. We have a competent man, Joe Biden, versus an incompetent man in Donald Trump. We have a respected international statesman in Joe Biden versus an international laughingstock in Donald Trump. And that's the question the American people are going to have to decide continuing precipitous decline with Trump or a season of American renewal with Vice President Biden.